Hey everyone, Snipe Trading here. Um, today is Wednesday, February 27th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, so I did two two swing trades yesterday and I sold those two positions. Um, right now I'm holding one swing um, ZSAN um, overnight for tomorrow. Um, but uh, so the, let's go over my two swing trade from yesterday first. So one of my first swing trade was KEG. So I saw this one. Um, maybe I shouldn't have uh, swung it because there was a 50 EMA here, uh, which was acting as resistance. Um, so I was kind of watching for this level here, 270. If this level breaks here, I, I was um, going to cut my loss. Um, so it kind of opened uh, somewhat at a little high, like 292, and I should have, I could have uh, cut it off there for a flat um, or anywhere here for a pretty much tiny loss. Um, but I ended up um, pulling back, um, breaking red, and I stopped out at 270. Um, and that was uh, an $85, $85 loss there. So. Yeah, so I thought this this would have because uh, of the higher volume. I thought it would break the fifty MA and go higher um, towards this um, area. Um, my next swing trade was um, MTNB. So MTNB uh, was from my watch list as well. This was breaking out of this uh, flag here. You can see the flag pendant here and. I was watching for this day for, for continuation, but unfortunately, um, it got got me stopped out um, during this uh, area here, and I thought it would look weak, but it ended up uh, grinding and then went red to green and then kind of continue with the breakout. So my my plan was there, but uh, I had poor execution on my part. Uh, but yeah, so this, this still has p uh, potential to go to 160 or so, um, just based off this, uh, measured move here. So around 150, 160. Um, my next trade I did was, uh, I think it was ZSAN, ZSAN. So what I saw here was this have, uh, a pretty much a symmetrical triangle or a wedge here and it's getting tighter and tighter and what I saw was I think it kind of broke out of the wedge um, from here so I went long there um, and then it kind of broke with some volume but the volume wasn't uh, strong enough I sold some there and I, sh I should have sold more um, but I end up stopping the rest out um, here for for like a forty something dollar loss, um, and then I trade it again um, to see if it it breaks it breaks the um, wedge pattern on the upside, and it kind of fell again. So I bought here, it fell, so I sold and then stopped out. So this was pretty much a, like a flat trade here. Um, and then I saw it kind of holding VWAP, so I started uh, adding really small and accumulating shares with my wrist off the bottom of the wedge. So so my wrist was around like 490s, 480s, uh, the bottom of this wedge. So I, I ended up accumulating shares, like 100 shares here, 100 shares. 100 shares, 100 shares um, for my swing trade. So I have I have 400 shares, and and uh, before before the market closed after hours, there was like a a, a print of 5:30 there. So um, we'll see how that opens up tomorrow. Um, another trade I did was LIQT. So this was on my watch list because there was a nice uh, break here of this uh, flag pattern as well. 
um, but it didn't really follow through today. Um, I bought I bought the one two twenty five, but that that didn't work out too well. And I think yeah, so I bought right here, um, and then I was seeing how it if it can hold this uh, uptrend, and it kind of pushed down here, so I just stopped out for uh, pretty much a small loss, a twenty dollar loss. Um, SUNP, so this was the end of day. Um, what I saw was this pennant here forming. Um, so yeah, so it was this uh, flag uh, and then it was holding this 41 area. And then I saw this uh, having a higher low. So I was going along here with my wrist off 41s. Um, I I, I could have sold some here for like a $40 winner, but I ended up just taking the rest off there for a $15 win. So the past few days I've been really bad at taking profits and I'm not sure if because I'm going smaller size and I don't think the winner was big enough to take profit, but um, this is becoming a bad problem for me um, because what I see is a, almost a lot of these trades, I I went in, it goes my way, I'm positive, and then I end up uh, losing the prof profits, uh, like here. So I bought here, I could have booked some profits here, but I didn't for some reason, and it went down, and I stopped out. So there's, I, there's many trades that happened today, um, and the past few days that did that. Um, so that's one thing I need to improve on to either booking my profits at least taking half size off and let it go um, or yeah just take it all off um, so yeah so Zizan I'm holding swing with a 509 average um, I'm I'm hoping this will break above um, above it uh, my stop is around 490 or so um, for this swing trade um yeah so that's that's all i have for today so if you you like watching my stuff oh so i post my daily watch um daily watch list uh daily on my website um so you can check that out um the link is in the description below and uh the watch list for tomorrow i have is uh csan uh, gsm amrn smmt sub n and tra so go ahead and check those out and you know, it's free membership. Um, and yeah, okay. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know if you have any future ideas or any strategies you would like to hear or update. Thank you, bye.